When you're asked about square roots, one thing they could say is tell us if each of these statements are true or not. All they mean there is does this side of the equation equal that side? Does this side equal that side? And does this side equal that side? Because this statement is saying that, that it's the both sides are equal. That's what the equal sign means. So since each of these is saying that both sides are equal, you're trying to determine, is that correct? Well, the first one, they're saying what? They're saying 6 is the square root of 36. Is that true? Yes. How can you test it? Well, 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, so yes, and that's what the square root of 36 means. It means that it equals 6 because 6 times 6 is 36. Those are inverse operations there. What about 1.5 and... Is that equal to the square root of 2.25? How can you figure that one out? Well, we'll use the same strategy. 1.5 times 1.5. How do I do 1.5 times 1.5? Well, I'm going to use long multiplication with decimals. I'm going to think of it as 15 times 15, right? 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. 0 here, because now we're moving up in place value. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. Add up these two, we get 225. But that's the product of 15 times 15. The product of 1.5 times 1.5 will be 100 times smaller. So we put a decimal point there. And if you're unsure what, what I mean, just, well, just think about it. This is 10 times smaller than 15, and so is this. So altogether, the product should be 100 times smaller. And if you lose track of that, just count the digits behind the decimal point. Here there are two digits behind the decimal point, so we're going to move our decimal point twice to the left. In other words, yes, 1.5 times 1.5, that equals 2.25. So yes, this is also true. 1.5 squared gave us 2.25, that means the square root of 2.25 is 1.5. And this last statement, again, we can test it. 11 times 11, well that's 121. So no, this is not true. Right? 11 squared does not give us 101, so therefore the square root of 101 cannot be 11. The square root of 101 is between 10 and 11, right? because 11 squared is 121, 10 squared is 100, and 101 is between those two. So this last one is not true. Thanks.